someone like Mitt Romney, who's gone through um, a pretty disastrous experience over the course of his campaign, then come back in the recent debate um, and be somewhat seen as, as someone who could challenge Obama? Well, because he understood something, Romney understood something about the American people. Namely, that they have no sense of history, that uh, a pretty face, and he's got one, will actually forgive a multitude of sins. Namely, that they're not really paying attention. What they want to be, and he understands this, what they want to be is lied to. What they don't want to do is get involved in complexities, actually the truth and facts of what it is to govern. Romney understands that about the American people. They want short answers, they want crisp slogans, they don't mind being lied to, and they don't want to be pulled down with details. And so, in other words, it's a very cynical view of the people he wants very much to lead. I mean, from the notions of freedom and independence and self-determination, we have moved immense distances, I think. We, we, particularly in the issue of race relations uh, from, a, from a low water mark at the, in, you know, midway in the, in the 19th century. In, in, in other ways, uh, from life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, Americans feel entitled to a sense and for, they feel entitled to behave in ways that will assure them of success in the world, that will assure them of, of doing what they want to do. I think those possibilities are still extant in the American character. But is it, is it true for all Americans? No, it is not true for all Americans. It is an ideal that many Americans will never realize. So in other words, a short, a short answer to this, to say, well, America has in fact not really realized many of those goals, wouldn't be true. And a short answer that it has reached all those goals, wouldn't be true. They remain goals of, in the American society. I think America, I think even Romney, as little as I respect him, believes in those goals of self-determination, of life, of, of, of liberty, of being able to make yourself happier. The real issue of the election is whose plan is going to assure Americans that those ideals can be furthered. And probably America is, is an ungovernable country by and large. It, 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 its constitutional traditions require it to have a leader, but it's very hard for anybody with any, with any specific experience, which is what everybody's got, uh, to lead America. I mean, I think America, as I say, is little by little by little through the very forces that set it into motion, which is to say freedom, diversity, acceptance of immigrants is becoming almost ungovernable. I, I often see it as being almost like a Tower of Babel. We've got all these different tongues together. Um, yeah, that's I, I, I completely agree with you. And I, but when it was more governable, it probably was, it was less free. And the freer it gets, the less governable it gets.